everyone. It's the 29th Sunday in Ordinary Time. So if your parents were driving and came to a sign that looked like this, what would they do? Well, it says stop, so they would probably stop. Can, can you think of other road signs and what they mean? Like, you know, maybe there's, they see a light and it's red and yellow and green, you know, and those all mean things, either stop or it's about to turn red or go. Who makes the rules for the road? The government does. And are we supposed to follow these rules? Yes, we are. And that's to keep us safe. So what about this sign? The commandment to love our neighbors doesn't come from the government. This says, love your neighbor. Whose rule is this? It's God's rule. We follow God's rule when we love God and our neighbors. God's rules teach us how to live in good, loving relationship with God and others. In this week's gospel, some people trying to trick Jesus ask him a question about taxes. They want to know if he thinks they should follow the government's law or God's law. So let's listen to how Jesus responds to this question. A reading from the Gospel of Matthew. May Christ's words be on my mind, on my lips, and in my heart. Some Jewish leaders called Pharisees wanted to trick Jesus into saying something wrong. So they went to him and said, Teacher, we know that you are honest and that you always teach the truth about God. We know that you are not afraid of what other people will say about you. You treat everyone the same. So tell us, what do you think about this? Should we pay taxes to Caesar or not? Jesus knew they were trying to trick him. So he said, you phonies, why are you trying to trick me? Show me the money you use to pay for taxes. Jesus looked at it and said, whose picture is on this money and whose name? And they answered, Caesar's. So Jesus said, well then, give to Caesar what belongs to Caesar and give to God what belongs to God. The gospel of the Lord. And we all say praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. So who was Jesus speaking with in today's gospel? He was speaking with a group of people called the Pharisees. And what is it that they asked Jesus? They were asking, should they pay taxes to Caesar or not? And how did Jesus respond to the people's question about paying the taxes? He said to pay taxes to the government and to end to obey God's laws. You know, in those days, the Jewish people lived in the Roman Empire and Caesar was their ruler. And many people believed that Caesar, their leader, was a god. They worshipped him and his picture was on their money. So when they asked Jesus this question, they were trying to trick Jesus. If Jesus had said, yes, then they could say he worshiped Caesar. But if he said no, they could tell Caesar that Jesus said not to pay taxes and have him put into jail. A pretty tricky spot to be in. You know, here, when our parents pay taxes, it helps to build the roads and schools. It helps the poor. As Christians, those that follow Christ, we should also help with these many things. They, the people were listening to Jesus to see if Jesus would say that Caesar is a god, but he did not. He said that the government is good. It does some good things, but we worship only God. So we are here to obey God's law to love one another, but we're also to follow the government's laws. We're not allowed to break the law of either God or the government. So with that in mind, let's pray. And the response will be, Lord, hear our prayer. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Authority comes from God and is to be used to glorify God's name. We pray for our Pope, Bishop, priests, religious, and all church leaders that they may always radiate God's glory in their lives and continue to endeavor to turn the hearts of people toward God. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for all governments of the world and all in authority that they may use their positions conscientiously to serve all entrusted to their care and have the courage to free the oppressed, always remembering that God is our common father. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. 
We pray for our church community here at St. Max. Fill us, Lord, with the spirit of humility, true love for one another, and charity in all of our dealings. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for the youth of our archdiocese and of all the world. Lord, we ask help, that you help them in their struggles and choices in life as you enkindle the fire of faith in their hearts. Draw, draw them to yourself that they may know you and come to understand themselves better in your light. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for all children, that God may guide and protect them and ensure that they fill, fill their potential for which he brought them into the world, that through um, them, through them, may he create the face of the earth for a better tomorrow. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And let's pray the perfect prayer that Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. See you all next week.